Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make chilorio. Chilorio is a delicious pork with a bunch of seasonings. It's kind of like carnitas but softer and it's shredded. So if you're interested in learning how to make this delicious protein, please keep watching because this recipe is going to be good for tacos, burritos, enchiladas, tostadas with scrambled eggs and the options are endless. Now that I made myself and many of you hungry, let's get started with this recipe. Okay friends, what we have going on here, I know it doesn't look like it to you, but this is lard. And this is pork fat that I saved from a previous use, okay? But for you guys, you can use lard, you can use shortening, whatever you feel comfortable with. For me, I'm repurposing my, my, um, my pork fat. <laughs> yeah. Before you add your pork, you wanna make sure that your oil is really, really hot, okay? You gotta think carnitas. You like carnitas, you guys are gonna love this dish. I'll see you later. Come on. <laughs> now you're okay with this. Okay, so I currently have my heat on medium. I'm gonna add my bay leaf. There is no salt at this part of the cooking process, okay? We're gonna be here about 25 minutes or so just until they look like chicharrones. Cause you have to remember, these are like seasoned carnitas. Really, really good, it's more shredded. So it's the same steps. So I'll see you guys when we achieve the color and consistency we need for our next step, okay? Okay, it's been 25 minutes, so once you get them nice and fried just like that, you can take them out. If your family doesn't like the fatness of the pork, don't add those pieces, but for me, those are the ones I enjoy. So I'm just going to make sure I get everything out, and I'll see you shortly when we have a nice clean uh, pot. You guys hear that? It's talking back to us. It's like, eat me in a taco now. <laughs> I'm putting a time out yeah. in my taco. Yeah. Hold on, guys. So I'm eating a little piece of the chicharron. <laughs> a little piece? No puedes ni cerrar la boca? Hey, calmate. She's already going at it with me, guys. Okay. So now, we're going to go ahead and add the remaining part of our bay leaf. Part. Like, if it was this big old chunk. Your two bay leaves, the remaining bay leaf, go ahead and add it here. And we're going to add enough water to cover all of our pieces of pork, okay? Once it's covered, we're going to bring this up to a medium heat. It's going to boil, and what we want, we want all that water to infuse and reduce. And we're going to come back when it's gone, so it's going to be about 45 minutes to an hour. When the food's gone? No, girl, when all this liquid has reduced. Okay. <laughs> it's been 50 minutes for me, and you can see that my water has completely almost disappeared. Almost, but not. I know, I almost said completely. Gosh, okay, guys, you guys got me. It almost disappeared. So what you're going to do is you're going to start mashing down your pork, okay? And what we want to achieve is kind of like a shred. So you're going to be here a little bit. Just... You can even put them all in a cutting board, just whatever helps you shred your pork apart. Because the chilote is about having little pieces, not big chunks. Tiny shredded pork. Okay? You can start mashing and then you can start breaking it apart with a spoon. So it's going to be up to you what way you want to do it. Okay? See, so once you start smashing it with a... Uh, Smashing, mashing, which one is Mashing, it? mashing. But you're kind of smashing. Yeah, you're kind of <laughs> smashing. So I was thinking a little Hulk, Hulk here. Smash. A little Hulk. <laughs> so you just want to 
continue with your spoon on the ones that you've already mashed to break them apart. I mean, it's going to take you a little bit, but it's going to be worth it. I'll show you with this piece what we need to do. We, because we're in a club, we do things together. That's right. And I don't shine if you don't shine. That kind of day. Okay. I like those kind of dates. Yeah. We uh -huh. both shine. We all know you like dates. I got <laughs> This is a cooking channel. Okay, children. guys, we're not going to talk about that right now. Mm -hmm. I just want to point it out there. Cloud went on a good date. <laughs> I know. Okay, okay. 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 <laughs> okay, so you want to mash them up like this, just nice and spread apart. So let me go to town on this, and I'll show you guys in just a moment when Cloud calms, calms her little giggles. Stop <laughs> <Yeah>, it. <laughs> If your masher and your spoon are giving you a hard time, take it off into a cutting board and just get to town on it. You don't want it too chopped, okay? Now, if you're gonna make tacos with this, go for it. Just a little uh, oregano salsa I, ta I taught you how to make. I'm excited. <laughs> Can you get your words out, girl? I know, tacos are life. You know, it's holiday season, but all I wanna eat is tacos all of a sudden. Who's with me? Who wants more tacos on the menu? Yes. Yes, tacos, tacos, tacos. De todo. <laughs> Hasta de vegetales me los como. Yes, veggie tacos are in order for us. Who wants Who wants some veggie tacos, huh? Oh, I know what recipe you're talking about. Okay. You tell mama what you want. <laughs> I've been making all the recipes you guys have been requesting all year, but I think this coming up year, you guys are going to have to allow me to feed you. Like a mom, like you're going to eat your veggies, you're going to eat your... Consomme, you're gonna eat your stuff, you know? Okay, mom, I'm ready. You guys gotta let me get mommy, that's what I do best. Yes, I do good makeup, but come on. I'm better at feeding families. So just keep taking it easy until you shred it completely. Okay, you don't want it to be in chunks. You want it to be like these are chunks. You wanna break them down. These are not the carnitas, this is chilorio. And apparently Raja captured a little nibble down there. <laughs> Those of you guys that don't know, Raja is my four month old puppy. Little Dennis the Menace. He sure is. He's a wild one. So let me finish up here and I'll I'll meet you guys shortly. I'll meet you. Apparently we've never talked before. <laughs> <laughs> you went on an interview? No, you haven't made me a resume. Girls are the best resume ever. I'm working on it. Okay. It's time. We're going to have to read it to everybody. Okay. <laughs> do I have to talk about all the jobs I've had on there? <laughs> no, I you hope don't not. Even know what I'm going to do. Oh, God. It's going to be an executive summary. Oh, wow. <laughs> all right. Now it's time to blend our spices. You're going to add your chilies, okay? And I've already cleaned them up. I took the seeds out. And they're just broken in pieces because they're a little bit drier. So you have your guajillo, you have your um, your pasilla, and your ancho blend. You guys notice I cook a lot with all of these chiles, so I always have them handy. By the bulk. Yeah. Because it goes by a roll quickly when you um, cook a lot of Mexican Most food. Most women have a makeup collection and you have a chile collection. A chile. <laughs> I do. And to makeup. Don't play, girl. <laughs> um, so we're going to go ahead and add our apple cider vinegar. Our onion. Garlic. Our clove. That's ground clove. Pepper. Our cumin. Ooh, that didn't all come out. Our ground cumin. And our oregano. If for some reason there's not enough liquid for you to blend your, um, your chilies and the spices, you can add a little bit of water. Just make sure everything's well blended. Yes, come and look at this sauce. Look at that paste. It's amazing. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a little bit of water. And then I'm gonna shake the container just so I can get all that good sauce out. Sounds good. 
Now let's go ahead and pour it in. Now let's go ahead and add all that delicious chili paste. Yum, yum, yum. What? Sounded like the cookie monster? <laughs> you did. <laughs> I knew you were to say that. <laughs> Next, we're going to add our chicken booyah. Wow. Que propia ahora. <laughs> I'm using the one that has tomato, the same one I used for the pupusas, because it adds such a good flavor. That's what I'm using. But if you don't have it, you can go ahead and just use a regular chicken one. You're going to add your salt. But well, why use chicken with pork? Cloud. I'll tell you why, because it tastes good. <laughs> Girl, you know I've been plating in the kitchen way too long. It's a, you, When people ask that question, I say, well, then use beef, and then you tell me. Do half with beef and half with chicken, and you tell me the difference. I've had, like, my pozole. I've had it with a chicken and beef. And it I, gives a good balance. It's not as gamey when you use the chicken to off-balance that gaminess. It's not even the gaminess. It just adds a different, like, flavor to it. To me, when it I have beef, it. beef with beef stock, it, uh -huh. it tastes a bit gamey. Really? Yeah. I don't know where I come from in my house. <laughs> that's how we do it. <laughs> Just like this, chilorio. In our barrio, we use chicken. <laughs> we use chicken, yeah. <laughs> a lot of people don't know about chilorio because they don't have family or friends from Sinaloa. What's up? Woo! Shout out to all our friends that have family or from are from Sinaloa. Our grandfather was from Sinaloa, so thankfully we have the best of both worlds so nora and sinaloa what's yeah. up and a little bit of chihuahua in there hey. <laughs> <laughs> so i have my heat on a medium heat and i'm going to continue to cook this for about 10 to 15 minutes so hang tight so we can get some tacos mm. ya me dio hambre Friends, this next part is optional. I like mine nice and saturated and a delicious glossy look to it, a good finish. So what I do is I add a little bit of the um, pork fat that we cooked it in right at the beginning. I save some and then I add it to the blend that I have going on. So you get a nice gloss to it. Mm -hmm. And that's what chilodio is. You got a lot of uh, fat in there. That's what makes it taste so great. Chilodio tacos are everything. Yes, girl, they're my favorite, actually. I can eat chilodio with cabbage and the onions on the top, and that's it. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't eat anything else. Not even the tortilla. That's so how good it is. Jinx. And you know I have a can of chilodio in my survival <laughs> kit, so. Yeah, you do. <laughs> If you guys know how to can and jar things, this is a good one to do. All right, let me finish cooking this. The jar things. Wow. What? The ting ting. And jar, and jar, jar, <laughs> and jar, jar, jing. It's been 18 minutes for me, and you see all the oil right there. Ooh. And if, depending on your pan, you're going to get some of that crusting on the bottom. Do not get scared. Just don't let it burn. I have it on a medium low at the moment. But if you're able to scrape all that stuff off, it is delicious on your tortilla. So this is what we have. I'm telling you, it smells so good in this house that all the dogs are here. My son actually came to talk to me out of the room, my older son, so I'm pretty happy. I know they're gonna enjoy this. I'm gonna warm up some tortilla so we can prepare our taco. Okay, so get your desired amount of chilorio in your taco, and you guys know I, I pack mine. And these tacos taste best with cabbage, I think. I agree. It just It's just the right flavor. And if you guys are trying to watch your calories for the holidays, just make it into a bowl without any like carbs. Just this like this, it's so good. So yummy. A little bit of chopped up veggies on top. Yep. I have finely chopped cabbage, white onion, and cilantro. Super simple, delicious. And I'm gonna add some pickled onions all right these are my favorite tacos just like every other taco i have Give these are officially your favorite i don't know girl i like tacos de cabeza too that's true 
But I see that glow and that sparkle mm -hmm. in your eye when you eat Cheeto. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The combination is so good. What's healing back there? <laughs> Just because I'm making pozole again. Oh, okay. <laughs> Smells good. If you guys need a pozole recipe, I'll link it in the description area. But it's cold. The family wants more pozole and tacos. I came right in time. Mm-hmm. Mmm. I'm speechless. Like, short of breath. It's so good. <laughs> Look, you can even see like the color that comes through with the chili amazing guys amazing and on that note <laughs> no puede hablar. no napkin you made me all dirty well, i'm gonna get a napkin calle, calle, si yeah look at that since you're at home here you go that's how you know this is good all right, friends, there you have it. A super easy recipe that's gonna help you prepare meals throughout your week. So when you guys try this, please come back and let me know what you guys think. And on that one, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Adios!